Hey guys, my name is Gaurav and you're watching FRHR Games. So today we are going to discuss about this new hero which is added in EAFC 24 that is Ramirez. And uh, if we look at his uh, stats, he has got 510 height, high high work rate, 4 star skill moves, 3 star weak foot, right footed player and a control player on an anchor. Uh, if we look at his alternative positions, he can play as a CDM and right mid. Pace wise, he looks solid for a midfielder. Shooting is decent, not that good. Passing wise, he feels decent. Dribbling is also decent. For He looks like a defensive kind of guy. So agility 79 is decent for a defensive midfielder. And uh, if we look at his defending, the defense is overpowered like 90 defensive awareness, 93 stand tackle and 91 slide tackle is good and interceptions is also 91. Physicality wise, his strength looks uh, good on an anchor. He has got chip shot, intercept, slide tackle, press pro well and relentless. So he has got the playstyles for a midfielder that press proven and intercept is actually very much helpful in the midfield. He doesn't have a playstyle plus and guys this card is somewhere around 720k or 730k I guess which is uh, too much for a midfielder. So we have to check in game like how he performs because 730k for a midfielder is too expensive. So let's just uh, test him out in a couple of games and then I'll be back with the review. And good pass by Hansen as well. Ramirez, not good. Good work by Ramirez, but unlucky didn't get the ball. Ramirez, nice, decent pass, but Pires gets marked there. Good work by Ramirez in getting the ball. Passing, nice, good pass. And Google strikes. Man. And his finishing is also nice. Amiras, good work. Good work by Amiras and uh, Blanc combined. Ah, I, I messed up. Couldn't have passed like that. Ramirez, let's see. Good dribbling, good dribbling. Good passing. Oh, long. Uh, Ramirez is decent in the midfield. That was a totally mistimed uh, interception. Good work by Ramirez. Good work there by Gogu. Ramirez. Good work by Ramirez there and good pass man. Forlan, come on, you should score this. That should be a pen. That should be a red card as well, right? Let's take it with uh, Gogu. Ramirez. That was a poor pass. Gugu makes a good run, but the pass again, again horrible pass. Ramirez cannot win the ball. Ramirez. Ramirez. To Gugu. Now, what can they do from here? Need to use that momentum. Ramirez. We're going to get a good competitive game. Let's try to switch play with Ramirez. Decent. So I have to be careful now because we are in a two-goal advantage, and now the players will be loved by. Our Ramirez. beloved company, Ramirez, very nice run, very nice run there. Ramirez, let's take a power shot. Oh, that was a good shot by Ramirez. But Endler saves it. So guys, about this Ramirez card, I used him for three matches. And he is a defensive kind of uh, midfielder. Like you will use him for uh, doing the defensive uh, uh, duties for you. And uh, he gave an assist in one game. And he was uh, making those forward runs as well. Uh, for providing assist or second assist to your team. Uh, but what I felt about this card is guys. Uh, like he is decent defensively. But his tackling animations are not that crazy. They are decent but not that crazy. 
like 730k for this card like i'll tell you uh, so i took a power shot with him so he doesn't have that red steel i took it to check how his long range shots are so it was pretty accurate and pretty nice but the keeper saved it because it lacked the venom in that shot like it was not that powerful it was good but not the best and uh, if we look at his uh, like forward runs he was making those forward runs sometimes because i have kept him on stay back while attacking because i wanted to use him as a defensive kind of midfielder because that is what he can do and his strength was decent not overpowered and not bad either jumping wise he was decent winning the headers sometimes losing it sometimes because of the height because he has got 510 height uh, pace wise he was good like pace was actually very good uh, uh, if we look at his passing the passing was nice uh, only thing i felt about he was decent on the ball as well like he was decent like he was not bad on the ball he was good what i felt about this card his uh, tackling animations were not that crazy like uh, he he ha like because maybe because of his height or something but he's tackling, uh, sometimes he was tackling the opponent but was not winning the ball because he was not able to reach the ball with those tackles. Uh, so, all in all, it, it's a good card. It's a good card. But it is way, way, way over expensive and overpriced. Like 740k for this card is too much, guys. It's it's way, way too much. Someone like a Modric will do the job better than Ramirez. Trust me. That, that uh, 350k card of Modric, 93 rated Modric, plays like a 1 million card. Like, that card is crazy good. Ramirez was excellent. Like, he was excellent. But uh, what I think is his pricing should be somewhere around 300 or 350k, not more than that. Like, three more than 350k for this card is not worth it. It's just way overpriced card. And uh, if you want to use him, you can use him. But uh, in the three games I played, he was definitely noticeable in game. His presence was felt. He was doing the job. But he was not that crazy good. Even Marquisio can do the job for you. Like I used Marquisio alongside and Marquisio was playing better than him. This is why I used Marquisio because I wanted to test this card alongside uh, Ramirez. Like how good both of them perform. So Marquisio was doing a better job than him. And Marquisio is somewhere around 400k. So guys, uh, Definitely 740k for Ramirez is way, 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 way expensive. And uh, it's a good card. It's a solid card. Like if you pack him, then it's awesome. But I won't suggest you to buy this card. Like 740k card, 740k for this card. Like it's a big no. It's like, it's, it's, it's a big, big, big no. Like just go for Modric, this card of Modric. It's somewhere around 350k. Performs way better than his stats. And uh, or either go for Marquisio's card. It's it's another brilliant card to have in your squad. So guys, uh, that's the review for Myrus. A solid card to have in your team if you pack him. But buying him for 740k is a big no. So that's it uh, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And if you haven't yet subscribed the channel, please subscribe it. Please support the channel guys. And uh, don't forget to click on the bell notification and select the option all. So that you don't miss out on any of the reviews I create in this channel. And if you have anything to say about uh, Remiras or any other card in general in EFC24 or if you have any doubts about Remiras or any other card, please do mention in the comment section. That's it for today guys. Thank you so much. My name is Gaurav. You are watching FRHR Games. Bye.